Hi, this is Matt McIntosh and in this video I'm going to show you how you can go about creating your cat rig. So to start off with uh, you need to go to the create tab uh, under the command panel. Um, the next bit that you need is the helper tab which is like a, a little um, tape measure uh, icon. Under the drop down menu where it says standard, click on that and go to where it says cat objects. Click on cat parent and you'll see that there's a whole bunch of uh, pre-built meshes for you. I'm just going to click on the first one which is the alien character and I'm just dragging that out into my scene. So before I can start animating this thing, um, first off I need to... Uh, go to the little motion tab, which is a wheel uh, icon. So if you click on that, uh, what it'll give you is the layer manager. Now at the moment, I can't actually add any keys to this because we need to add a layer before we can do anything. So to do that, go to where it says ABS, click on it, and then select the ABS tab, and that will add an absolute layer to your cat rig. Um, so before we can actually start adding keys to this thing, we need to just turn this uh, toggle button from stop to play. And that will now let us start making animations. Um, so in order to work with this, uh, there are two options. You've got your auto key, which I'm going to switch on. Um, and that will mean that when I move this character, um, I'm just going to go to, I don't know, frame 10. Uh, when I move this character's arm, it will automatically set keys for me in the rotation, move and scale aspects. So that when I kind of go from zero to 10, the animation's there. I don't need to worry about setting a key. If you're a bit of a control freak and you want every aspect um, to be keyable, then you might want to use the set key and when you move your character's arm at a specific time or its leg or whatever um, then you're going to need to come back down to this key button and click it so that it adds a key for your character to move okay um, i wouldn't recommend set key if you're one of these people that would uh, move something and then forget to actually key it Okay, so if you've got the auto key, it will do the stuff for you. Okay. Um, another thing that I would recommend is that when you start up 3ds Max, <coughs> excuse me, uh, when you start up 3ds Max, the rotation um, gizmo, which are these uh, circular bands that go around your object when you select them, um, are facing in world space coordinates. And that's quite useful for lining things up with objects, but it's not so useful for uh, characters. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I look at this arm um, and I want it to rotate around where the bone would be, I don't want it facing in world space coordinates. The better thing to do is to actually change it to where it says local. So in this drop down menu here, just underneath where the animation tab is, click on local. And what you'll see is that the rotation axis goes down the center of the bone, which is really useful for, you know, um, getting your motions on your characters looking as good as possible. Okay, so those would be the kind of key things that I would say initially to start off with uh, for your character uh, to look at doing within 3ds Max um, and as we can see it adds in the keys so that you can start animating okay um, that concludes this video so thanks for watching